Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TV and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to the KM Strike with every single gun in the game series <gasps> in Call of Duty Ghost. And welcome your faces to a, uh, a Vapor SMG cam on this map. I believe it's called Overlord. I don't know why. Yeah, it's definitely called Overlord. So, if you guys didn't, make sure to go check out the previous uh, episode of the Kim Strike with Every Gun series. It was with the CBJ-MS SMG, and it, it was so cool because the CBJ is the fastest firing SMG in Call of Duty Ghost, and I managed to get it on the biggest map in Call of Duty. I totally forget the map name, but it, it's like Scotland and Skyrim. I, I forget the map, but yeah, anyways, you go check it out down below. Link in the description if you guys want to check out the previous KM strike but uh, anyways without further ado present you guys the Beffer the 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 Beffer Kemp the no it's the the Swiffer jet no it's it's the Beffer Kemp anyways yeah like, my words are getting a little bit mixed up I think I'm a little bit too excited right now so anyways with the Vepper man this gun definitely reminds me of uh, the Call of Duty 4 uh, AK-74U, which was by far the best and my favorite SMG in Call of Duty 4. I'm not really sure why that is. I think it's just kind of like how the gun looks and how the iron sights look. It's just very similar to how the AK-74 looked in uh, Call of Duty 4. And one thing like I really love about the Vepper is, uh, is the fact that you have 42 bullets in each magazine. I think that is just a ridiculously awesome amount. It's almost as much as the PDW from Black Ops 2. The PDW had 50, and this one is 42, which is freaking ridiculous. So it really helps them picking up those like double kills, triple kills, or even like quad kills if you manage to even like survive that. I, I can never really manage to survive, it seems like, more than three people in Call of Duty Ghosts just because it seems like I die in like two bullets. So yeah, with that being said, man, if you can manage to get behind four people and mow them all down, the Vepper will definitely do that and it will do it in style but yeah so on my vepper i like to run uh, grip and then uh muzzle break and that's typically most of the smg setups i'm going to be doing in this series i know i'm going to mess around a little bit with silencer and stuff like that but i find that silencer takes away too much damage sometimes and it just makes it to where i, I just i can't do it man sometimes i just can't sacrifice that damage because you can see right here even though i've got the dead eye perk on and if you guys don't know what dead eye is, I, I saw some people in my last episode that asked me, what are those red hit markers you keep getting, Preston? Are you hacking? Um, the little red hit markers, that's when dead eye gets like a critical hit and it does extra damage with your bullet, uh, you know, with your gun and stuff like that. It's a perk that you can use. So, yeah, that's what dead eye is. So, even with dead eye on, you can see that I'm still getting like four or five shots sometimes before I even kill a man. So, it's kind of ridiculous. The vector, the, the vepper's damage seems a little bit low. Not like low or anything, but kind of like medium range. It's nothing like super high god tier like the msmc from black ops 2 but it is definitely a really really good smg and i love it a lot now one thing is though about overlord this map is so crazy there are so many sh places to get shot from so i'm gonna try to give you guys a little bit of tip to stay alive on this map is for me I just like to play certain areas of the map, and then I rotate. I don't like to stay in one area too long, and I don't like to patrol the whole map because one way or another, you're going to get shot in the back or something. So make sure to stay, you know, it, like, look at your mini-map. Watching your mini-map is the biggest tip, and then just, like, play around B a little bit, and if that works out, great. Go to A, play around A a little bit, stay safe, stay in a building, you know, and then play around C, you know, just kind of rotate and stay on the outsides of the map. If you run through the middle of the map like I'm doing right now, you are going to die, I promise you. It's It, it, it just, things will not go well, I promise. So anyways, that is the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a wonderful and safe day. Um, if you guys could leave a like down below in the video, that would be freaking awesome. I'd appreciate it so very much. Thank you guys so much for all your support in the Kim Strike with Every Gun series. It means a lot to me. And I'll check you guys out in future videos. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. And goodbye, everybody.